Gusmi is one of the luxuries of traditional Taiwanese cuisine. We head now to Taipei for a glimpse into the kitchen of a goose chef extraordinaire. Chen Xingying worked his way up from running a street stall to open a family business with his wife. Slices of marinated goose give off just a hint of medicinal flavoring. The plate is finished with a poached egg and greens. The egg yolk will mix perfectly into a bed of rice. If we rewind a few hours, the goose is dipped in goose bone broth and occasionally lifted out again to get the temperature even all over. Blood is removed from the goose by boiling it in this pan. Then it's time to turn the stove off and let the goose slow cook to perfection in the residual heat. Each one is 4 to 4.5 kilograms. They have more fat and they're more tender. Straight after its hot bath, the goose goes in a pan of cold water to prevent it from overcooking. Finally, it gets to bathe in a soup of medicinal herbs, wine, and salts. If the meat is thicker, when you slow cook it, it locks the juices in and it will be more tender. Chef Chen Xing Yi has specialized in goose for more than a decade. He previously sold ramen and breakfast snacks. He began working as a dishwasher in his friend's goose restaurant with the goal of opening a new establishment with his wife. In those days, my wife and I would go out with a breakfast stall in the mornings until 3 p.m., then we'd go to the goose restaurant. I started learning from washing the dishes and closing up shop, and gradually he passed all his skills on to me. After saving up enough money from those two gigs, Chen and his wife could finally start their own business. Now this is the place to be if you're a fan of traditional slow-cooked goose.